This video shows how to perform safety formal verification in T2. So first, you need to open a model, open from T2 repository, coffee machine, and you have in front of you the design of a coffee machine with two main blocks, the wallet, which uh, first goes to a main function, and then either in this wallet you can put a coin, a coin in the machine, if you've got coins, it takes some time, then the number of coins is decreased, and we go back in the main state. Or you can get a coin from the machine if the machine ejects a coin, and then you get more coins in your wallet. The coffee machine itself, which contains two buttons, coffee button and tea button. Coffee machine. First, the, the system waits for a coin. When it gets a coin, it, it, gets, it gets one, there is one more coin in the machine, or X more coins. If after a delay, a coin hasn't been inserted in the machine, then the coins are ejected and we go, the system goes back to this state. If a second coin is inserted, then we go in a composite state which is called beverage. There, the system waits for a selection of either a push on the coffee button or on the tea button or after a given delay, which is equal to coin delay, the coins which are in the machine are ejected. And then the system goes back to waiting for first coin state. Coffee button and tea buttons are similar. Uh, let's go to this one, which is much simpler. On the tea button, there is a push signal which can be performed, which models that a push can be performed. And it's only after a mechanical delay that, again, another push can be performed, etc. In this system, there are verifications we could perform. For example, is this state accessible? That is, is it possible in this system to get a coffee? Is it possible to get a tea? Is it possible that these coins are ejected? To, to verify these properties, we first need, oh, I see that this action has been selected for reachability as well, which is get coin. Is it possible to get a second coin in the machine? First step, verifying the syntax analysis. It's fine. Then we're going to use UPAL, which must be correctly installed on the system. Reachability of selected states. Start, we see that get coin is satisfied, eject coin in the second aspect is not possible. It means that the user will always insert the second coin on time. Push coffee is reachable, push T button is reachable as well. If we go on the diagrams now, it's clearly written that reachability is possible for get coin. Reachability is possible for push T button. Reachability is possible for push coffee button. And reachability in red is not possible for eject coin. Since the reachability is not possible, the liveness is not possible as well. Liveness means that the system will always go uh, to this action in all executions. This action uh, is finally reached in the system. Okay, now we're going to verify the liveness of the system for all selected actions. Syntax analyzes, you pad again, then we check liveness and reachability as well. Okay, so let's see the results on the diagrams. Liveness is not uh, satisfied here, 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 and here as before. It means that it's possible for the system to never go to this action, to this action, or to this action. Which means that probably the system can go to the first eject, 
an infinite number of times. Okay, so this is how you can verify reachability and liveness properties. Sometimes you would like also to verify properties on variables. So to do this, there is a facility which is called a safety pragma. I click on the icon, I click there, I double click in the box, and then I can add a safety pragma. There are different properties you would like to check. For example, if sometimes a variable can be over three, for example, the number of coins can be three in your wallet at some point, or with that number of coins will always be more than three, or is it an execution trace in which number of coins will be more than three? All this is summarized by uh, this information. P is always satisfied. P is satisfied in some cases, at least once. P is satisfied in a trace after a given point. P is satisfied in some traces. And this is a leads to, we won't consider the leads to now. Okay, so I'm going to say I want a property, okay, which is this one, to be satisfied all the time, which is I want the number of counts in the wallet block to be always less than two. And I'm going to verify this property. Syntax analysis, UPAL. I want to verify this property. Start. Property is not satisfied, which means that there are states or traces in which the number of cons is more than one. Okay? Which is obvious because number of cons starts at value two. So now I'm going to put three. Okay, and I'm going to verify this property. Property is satisfied, and there is a green check just next to the property. Okay, now we may want to see that at some point the number of counts can be equal to zero. I'm going to write property, which can be drawn like this, can be expressed like this, number of counts is equal to zero. Okay, we're going to verify uh, it's not listed. What well, number of codes? Ah, so it was an equal equal. Okay. Okay. Can verify both. Property is satisfied, so we know that at some point in a trace, um, uh, the number of cones will be equal to zero. Okay, another way to do is to generate a reachability graph of the system that is representing all possible uh, traces that this system can have. To do this, we need again to verify the syntax, then click on this icon and say that we want to, read, to generate a reachability graph. Let's go. Okay, so we obtain a graph with 17 states and 19 transitions. All generated graphs are listed here, and if you make a right click, you can either analyze a graph show the graph, minimize it, generate test sequences for this system. Okay, let's first analyze this graph. So it says again the number of st states in transition. It gives statistics on how many times each, each transition is, appears in the graph. All termination state, there is only one, state number 16. Shortest path and longest path can be computed between states you can select. Okay, now let's see this graph. Show. Okay, so we've got a graph with 
the first state, the last states, and all possible transitions. And we see that there is a path like this in which a system can insert a cone, eject the cone, insert the cone, eject the cone. Or if a second coin is inserted, then one of the two buttons is pushed, tea button or coffee button, and the system terminates with zero uh, coins in the wallet, so nothing can be done with the machine again. Okay, sometimes it's interesting to show the graph only for a limited number of actions. So to do this, we can minimize a graph and put on the right only the actions we would like to see. For example, the action on buttons and coin, coin insertion. Okay, so I'm going to to minimize the graph. Now I've got a graph with three states for transition. It is listed here. Show the graph. So now we see that we can make a given number of put coins before doing a put coin and then getting a coffee or a tea. Okay, uh, uh, this shows how to perform safety verification in T2. You can also visualize other videos for security verification and performance evaluation. Enjoy T2!